Before you came into my life, everything was black and white. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then hi, my name is Emma Brown. I'm a makeup artist and I do makeup tutorials, vlogs and pretty much everything in between. So if that sounds like something you wanna see more of, then please make sure to subscribe down below. So as you may have already seen in the title, I've decided to do a look for St. Patrick's Day. So happy Patrick's Day everyone if you're watching it on the actual day. I think it might be the Saturday, I'm not sure what date that is, sorry. But yeah, you'll know when it is because um, I'll probably just put this on a few days before, but I'm rambling, so. So hopefully you can tell I've been inspired by the Irish flag, even though I look a little bit like an Irish clown, but that's okay. I like the clown look. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I won't ramble too much in this video because I do it every time. So if you'd like to see how to create this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so just to clarify, I'm not naked. I've got a little green bandeau on, but it's the only thing I could find in my wardrobe that was green, other than that nail on top, which I wore in my last video, so obviously I wasn't gonna wear that again. But anyway, stop rambling. Um, I'm not naked, full stop. Right, so to start, I'm gonna be taking my P. Louise base in the shade Rima 02. I've got a nice brand new one look. I'm just gonna be taking my Ezra Weaver 144 soft concealer brush, as always, which looks like this. And then just placing that base all over my eyelid. And then buffing all that out using my Sephora number 57 concealer brush, which looks like this. So just anything that's got a bit of fluff to it. And then just blending that out. So it's nice and smooth and it's gonna create a nice base for the eyeshadow application. Okay, and then same as my last video, I'm gonna be inserting pictures rather than holding up the palettes. So I'm gonna be taking the dark green shade from the James palette. Am I gonna say that? <laughs> from the James Charles palette. And then I'm just gonna start by packing that right onto the outer V of my eye. making sure to stop as we reach the inner section of our eye. Okay, and now I'm just taking the Ready Orange shade called Red Sea, and that's from the Tropical Wonders Certified, no, sorry, the Certified Tropical Wonders palette. And then just repeating that step, but onto the inner third of my eyeball. Eyeball, onto my eyelid. <laughs> okay, so when it's kind of like that, and it's got a slight, well, it's basically just met in the middle, the two colors, I'm gonna be dusting off what's left of my brush. I'm just taking a, um, just like a towel, and doing this, and then, trying to merge them two together. Okay, and now I'm just gonna pack over the top of that red in a third, using the kind of, I can't describe the color, but it's from the James Charles palette again, I'll insert the picture. Um, it's kind of like a coral color, so in between like a lighter orange and a darker orange, and then packing that directly on top of that line. And then just dusting off that same brush again, and then taking the color swamp from the Tropical Wonders palette again, and then repeating that step. Just really making sure to pack that colour onto the outer V and then again as you meet in the middle, trying to use as little pre as little pressure as possible and not applying any more product. Just snap a brush again and then merging them two in the middle. Okay, as always as well, it's gonna be looking a little bit stripey at first, but once we build all the colors down, then I promise it will blend nice and seamless at the end. Now I'm gonna be taking that same color, and I should really know the name by now, but I still don't, <laughs> but it's basically the, the really pale orange shade from the James Charles palette, and then stamping that right on top of that other orange color. So we're basically just repeating this process until we reach the inner part of the eyebrow. And as you can see, I've been quite um, blown out in the inner corner too, so don't worry about it coming out really far or anything like that because I think that kind of looks quite cool to be honest. And then to blend out the green I actually just used the same colour Swamp um, which I've already used but just like less product on my brush this time so I'm really making sure to tap it off and then just diffusing them edges until it's nice and blown out. And then if you struggle to blend those top two colours I actually just take a mixture of both shades and then Start off with the orange, blend it over top of the green, and then add a bit of the green, and then add that back over at the centre. Okay, so we should have something that looks like that. So a little bit stripey, but it's fine. So now I'm just going to repeat all them steps again um, until I'm happy with the blend. Okay, so now we should have something that looks like this, so all nice and blended. Okay, now so to cut my crease, I'm actually going to be taking the P. Louise base bit in the white shade this time. And then I'm going to be taking the Sosu SK06 brush, which is like my favourite brush of all time. I use it in every video because it's perfect for detailed work. So yeah, I would highly recommend if you're struggling with cut creases, um, especially if you've got really hooded eyes like me. So yeah, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that and then, and then just cutting my crease, but just focusing right in the centre of my eye. 
as this is going to be more of a halo eye than a standard cut crease. So what I like to do, I kind of like to draw a big line down the centre, just to make sure that product's on there, and then I can just kind of work from there. I like to take the, the product quite far out either side of my eye. This is just so I can go back in then and add the product onto the outer corners and that will just help with the blend a lot better. It also leaves me with a little bit more room to play with um, rather than just leaving like the tiniest bit right in the centre. Um, otherwise I just end up going over it completely. So but I just thought I'd put it out there just in case you were wondering. That's our crease cut. Now I just take any white eyeshadow. I'm just going to be taking the white one from the James Charles palette and then I'm going to be packing that right back on top of that, focusing again maybe on the centre. Okay, so you should have something that looks like that. I've actually just gone back over it with a little bit more of the white base just because I feel like the white wasn't like as stark as I wanted it. So now that's done, I'm basically just repeating the steps that I did earlier, but basically on top of the white. So again, I'm just gonna work my way from the darkest colours to the lightest colours. So I'm gonna start with the green and take the darkest shade again from the James Charles palette. And then tap that onto the edges, making sure to blend the white. And then going back in with the colour Swamp, which is the lighter green shade, and then tapping that right onto the base. So in between the centre of the eye and on the outer corner of the eye. And then using the other colours, but in reverse again, so taking the ready orange shade and then the lighter orange shade. And then we're just going to keep on building these colours until we get the pigment that we want, as always. Okay, so now that I've got a little bit of the orange left on the brush from the inner corner, I'm going to wipe off what's left on the back of my hand. So it still kind of leaves a little bit of pigment in the brush, but not a lot. And then slowly blending the edges towards the centre. Okay, and then before we blend a little bit further, I'm going to add some of the white shadow back into the centre just to make sure that nothing budges and that the shadow is nice and set before we start messing around with it too much. Okay, and I'll just add in more colours, alternating between the green and the orange until they're nice and even. Okay, so I've just popped my other lash on. I've just used the style London by Yasme Cosmetics, as always, and my faves. And now for the underneath, this is the easiest part as always. I'm just going to be taking the P. Louise base again in the white shade and then popping that straight into my lower lash line. Again, using my Zoeva 144 brush. And then I like to take this straight onto my lower waterline, even though you probably shouldn't, but it's fine. It's never given me any harm. And then buffing that straight out using a angled brush and then packing that on top just to diffuse the matches. And now I'm going straight back in with the dark green shade from the Jamie Charles palette again and then popping that directly underneath the lower lash line. And then you guessed it, the same with the orange shade. That was a bit cheesy, wasn't it? You guessed it. <laughs> Don't know who I think I am. But then yeah, just going straight back in with the orange shade from the Certified Tropical Wonders palette in the shade Red Sea. Okay, and then now with an ever so slightly bigger brush, I'm like just on like this. Um, I'm going to be picking up the shade Swamp from the Certified Tropical Wonders palette and then buffing the outer edge. And then same thing but with a mixture of the coral shade and the lighter orange shade from the Jamie Charles palette. Okay, and then just going ahead and doing the same thing again until the colours are built up nicely. Okay, and now I'm just going to be taking a bigger, fluffier brush um, I've not got the name of this one, sorry, but it's just kind of like standard kind of crease brush, but with like finer bristles, um, so basically they're not too densely packed. Um, I'm just going to take the tiniest bit of that product from the shade Swamp, again, put that on the back of my hand, and then just kind of diffuse them out edges. So like that, and then doing the exact same thing, but with the orange, packing the orange onto the brush, and then dabbing that onto the back of my hand and then buffing that all the way out. Okay, and now all that's left to do is pop on some mascara and then that is the look all complete. So all that's left to do is do my foundation and my lips. So I'm just gonna do that off camera really quickly and then I'll be back with the finished result. Okay, 
Okay guys, so this is the finished result. I've just gone ahead and done my foundation routine, the same that I always do. So if you wanna have a look at that, then I'll insert my last video here where I quickly run through it all and all the products are linked down below if you're interested. And then also, I just really quickly, I'll zoom you in to have a little look. There you go. I've just really quickly popped on some liner on the top lashes, um, on the top lash line, just because, you know, it felt like something was missing, but now I'm kind of regretting it. So yeah, what do we all think? So comment below actually if you would go out like this on St. Patrick's Day because I'd love to know if you're brave enough to do it. And also if you do recreate this look then please please tag me in any pictures because that'd be amazing to see. So yeah thanks again so much for watching guys and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.